Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on chapter 5.4, dividing a line with a given ratio. This is a great A video, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's start. So, to divide something by a given ratio, it's just like uh, finding the midpoints, other than you have to decide which side is shorter. And it's a, always a good idea to sketch a line to say, well, now I can visualize how things are and how things look like, and so I don't confuse myself. And again, try to um, not confuse yourself by the coordinates. Think of each unit as one meter or centimeter. That helps a lot. <sighs> Do you guys still remember back in chapter 1.1, my first video, well, second video after that, never mind. My first uh, official video on this series, chapter 1.1, I've talked about how to divide a line with a given ratio. Now it's time for it to recap what goes on in chapter 1.1, except we have coordinates, obviously, so yeah. And basically, you either do the horizontal first or the uh, vertical first, doesn't matter, they are all the same, so just do one first and do the other one. So now, because this is a horizontal line, given that the y value didn't change, we only focus on the x axis or x value. And now, we know that AC to CB is 3 to 2. And typically I'll have B here and stuff C in the middle, but nah, I falsely labeled, so it doesn't matter now. Okay, so from A to C, we have no idea what the distance is, and we have no idea what the distance of C to B is, but we know that uh, a to C it has three units compared to C to B there are only two units so let us try to do this uh, in the old school 1.1 way where we first find the distance of this whole giant piece of thing all right so if you're smart enough you can see the distance is this minus this or subtract that which is 10 and our next step is to do a ratio same method as 1.1 if you're quick about it AC is 6 CB is 4 and now um, we have kind of what C is basically all we need to do is to use the starting point uh, and add the distance to it. So what have we started off with? Zero. So, um, well the starting point is the smaller point or smaller um, coordinate. So we add it. How do we add it? Um, we want to find C. The best uh, way to find it is using AC because it directly relates to A and it's easier to add that way and we know that the x coordinate of A is 0 the x coordinate of C will be 0 plus uh, the length with it which is 6 and so we can say that um, the x coordinate is 6 and the y coordinate again same idea but in this case it's zero because we didn't change a thing and finally we can conclude using the six and zero to get that c's coordinate is six zero and that's how you find a point on a straight line with a given ratio so remember look at the question plot the like apps uh, plot a line, sorry, to see where things are so that you don't mess things up 
and also remember to add starting position. A lot of people that I know have tried to just give me the distance of the the distance between, uh, but haven't give haven't given me the correct coordinate because they f totally forgot about. You have to add the initial position to make it uh, the position where it is. So remember, add that, and it helps. Uh, yeah. So let us try to do some questions. So I think this question is complex enough, and I will tell you A, B, C, D is a straight line. They are in order. And I have the following information for you. I want you to find the coordinate of B and C. And so I will pause and well you guys can pause and do it. I will just chill a minute. Well, I will just chill for five seconds and I'll give you the answer. There we go. B is zero eight and C is three nine. That is their position. And I hope I didn't trick you guys for thinking the total distance is seven because I actually told you that A A to D is five, so the total horizontal distance I think is just five. Like like doesn't matter, it's like, how do I say, it's just, I, I tricked, so if you failed, for, uh, if you fell for it, um, apologies, but read the question next time, take that as a little lesson, and don't do it in the exam, so yeah, that's it for this video, I hope you enjoy it, uh, if you did, leave me a like, and comments below and I will see you next time